Hey guys, I'm Clinton from Grimspeed and I'm going to be walking you through the installation of our Grimspeed lightweight battery mount kit for the 2008 to 2018 Subaru WRX and STI. The install difficulty here is medium and expect to spend about 60 to 90 minutes on this install. Start by removing the plastic cover on the positive battery terminal and loosening the connection. Pull the positive terminal off first and tuck it out of the way behind the battery. Next, loosen the connection to the negative terminal, remove the terminal, and push it back behind the battery, out of the way. Use your 10 mm deep well socket to loosen and remove the nuts on the OEM battery tie down. Place the OEM tie down and nuts to the side. You will not need them anymore. Holding the battery from the bottom, remove the battery and the OEM tray from the car. Then we can prep the new tray for installation. For this step, we'll need the battery tray base, M6x1 flathead allen bolts, the T-nuts, the lock nuts, a 3mm allen wrench, and a 10mm socket. Start by taking one of the M6x1 Allen head screws and placing it through the mounting hole. Flip the tray over and thread one of the T-nuts onto the bolt, nipple side down. Do the same for the other mounting hole. Next thread the locking nut onto the tip of the screw just until you hit the locking threads. Using your allen wrench to hold the bolt in place, use your 10mm socket wrench to tighten the locking nut just a little bit so it won't come off. Keep in mind that you do not need to fully tighten these bolts, just tighten enough to go into the locking section of the nut. Once the locking nuts are secure, back the T-nut off the tray and make it touch the locking nut. Now let's install the tray into the car. Pointing both the T-nuts down, place the tray into position, making sure that each T-nut falls into the corresponding hole. Wiggle the tray to make sure the T-nuts are in the holes and grabbing like they should. Once the tray is sitting properly in the two mounting holes, take your M6 10mm bolt and thread it through the tray into the chassis. This tray does fit two different chassis, the 2008-2014 GR WRX and STI and the 2015 Plus VA WRX and STI. Take your flathead screwdriver and insert it into one of the slots next to the mounting holes. Use the allen wrench to tighten the screws while the flathead is in the slot. The flathead should prevent the T-nut from spinning.
tighten these bolts as much as you can by hand. Now go back and tighten the chassis bolt down with your socket. Give the tray a tug and make sure it's securely in place. Now we can install the battery. Thread in the included terminals that came with your kit. Be sure to use the corresponding negative and positive terminals. The positive terminal uses a 12 mm Allen wrench and is slightly larger in diameter than the negative. Lay the battery down on its side, terminals facing up. Place the included Grimspeed tie down on top of the mounting holes. Thread the included washers onto the button head allen bolts and insert them through the mounting holes. Then thread the included nut onto each bolt, starting with the nut on the back side, as this one's hardest to reach. Using a 10mm wrench and your 3mm allen wrench, tighten the bracket a little bit on each side. Go back and forth until they are tightened evenly. Then, give the battery a shake to make sure everything is tight and securely in place. The OEM terminal on your WRX or STI is tapered and won't fit properly onto your PC680 battery unless you slightly modify it. This modification can be done in two steps. Flipping the tapered terminal fitting and if you own a 2015 plus, trimming the 90 degree corners on the terminal. Undo the 10 millimeter bolt on the positive side of the terminal. When you pull the terminal apart, it'll separate into three different pieces. We need to flip the terminal around so it's facing the other direction. And we also need the terminal to fit inside the plastic fitting, like shown here. You'll notice that when you flip yours around, it has 90 degree edges that won't allow it to fit inside the plastic fitting. We need this piece to fit flush inside of here. So what we can do is use a Dremel or a hacksaw to trim the sides down. Once that's done, you can put it back into place, thread the bolt back onto the other side, Tighten it down with the socket. Now that we have reversed the terminal, the tightening bolt will be on the opposite side and will contact the engine bay. To make it easier to attach and tighten the terminal, we need to remove the bolt and washer and flip it in the other direction. Now install the negative terminal. Then the positive terminal.
and you're all set. The Grimspeed Lightweight Battery Mount Kit.